Hi besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a few days ago, I made a video of I embellished this nice kimono with chains and I got a lot of video requests, so here we go. You don't need much measurement for this kimono. All you need is your length measurement and your backbone to your desired sleeve. I want mine short sleeve, not three quarter, not long sleeve, just short and simple. So I'm working with 42. Why my backbone to my sleeve? I'm working with 18 because I don't want it way long. All you need to do is fold your fabric into four. We all know Ankara length is by 44. So you fold it into four. Measure your backbone to your desired sleeve length and your length. You need to cut out a four inch band, which will serve as a kimono collar. You have to make it way long because you're taking it around the kimono. You have to fold the cloth equally and be very careful. I was deciding what part to use for the back and what part to use for the front. Yeah. If you're making a coat together dress, either a kimono or a dress, a top, always remember to slant the shoulder by two and a half to make it balance. For my round sleeve, I'll be using 20. Don't forget to add your sewing seam allowance right under the round sleeve. I'll measure two, not too much, just to make the sleeve balance and perfect open both side up but please note if you're sewing a normal kimono you don't need to open the back up you need to cut out the back neck a bit so the color can be balanced while fixing it for my depth i'll be using one Why length i'll be using one and a half this year blessing money testimony Please note, always slant your kimono front to get a V-shaped look just to beautify your kimono and make it very balanced. Also note, make sure you use the same measurement you use at the back, that's one and a half, to slant it down, just like this. That's all for the body of the kimono. If you have any questions, please do make sure to drop them under the comment section. I'll make sure I reply all. Don't forget to cut out your rope you use in making the both side ruffle. I'll be using one inch for the bread. For the length, you can make it as long as you want. I would advise to you make your rope very, very long. If it's excess, you can easily cut out or tie it in a bow form, which will make your kimono more beautiful. You also need to cut another one inch rope. Make it as long as possible for your loop. If you don't know what a loop is, it is the chain holder at the back of the kimono. When you're done making the rope for the loop, then you divide it. I'll be using two inch for mine because I really want it small and cute. So you just measure two inch, two inch, then you cut, cut, and cut just like this. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you like my videos. And please ignore my machine cover. I really do not know how I misplaced that. I just can't find it anymore. While you're done cutting your loop, you want to as well just divide them so you don't have any confusion. I think I did 10, 10, but I end up with 11. I really don't want to do much loop, so I don't need to spend a lot on chains. After the old sewing of loop, you want to indicate the part you'll be sewing the loop on so you don't make mistake. I advise you measure the length first, divide it equally, then notch. Not just chalk on it, notch it. If you don't want to notch it, it's just a simple cut at the edge of the fabric so you can know the exact place to sew on to avoid confusion. It does make things very, very easy, trust me. Just notch it a bit, not so much, just a bit, so you can easily identify where you're working on and where you're sewing your loop on. Let's not forget, you need to cut a two inch band or one and a half just for the facing of the back chain loop. Place your facing on the right part of the fabric, I mean the outer part of the fabric. Make sure to fold your loop well. Fix it on the notch parts and please note always, always stop stitch on your loop. Always. Repeat the procedure. So straight, stop stitch on your loop to get your desired length. This is what you have when you're done. All you need to do is M. Is it I use a Ming gum or use your needle and threading? Or you do make sure you end up with a neat job. 
this is what it looks like when you're done hemming i always use my hemming gum it always works for me give it a stop notch look but you can as well secure it with your needle and thread best advice after the whole loop process join your shoulder together make sure they are straight and well slant i don't know if i emphasized on this at the beginning of the video but if you're working with a cut together dress top gown anything as long as it's cut together always slant your shoulder by two and a half after sewing the shoulder together you fix your band which you serve as a collar for the kimono place the band on the back side of the fabric when i mean back i mean the other side of the fabric not the front parts of the fabric so straight and neatly to get a kimono back band all you need to do is measure how spacious you want it i really don't want my spacious at all so i work with three you can decide to go with five four three also depends on how you want it i don't want my very very spacious i just want it close and cool so i'll be leaving three inch allowance for the back and continue sewing the other part after sewing the facing at the back side of the fabric now turn it to the front side of the fabric and sew on it just like this whenever i'm broken it makes me feel whole. whenever i'm lonely you're there for my soul wherever you are girl that's where i call my own whenever you die after the old kimono band process, fold your sleeve. Make sure the measurements align with the other side of the sleeve to get the perfect job. After folding the sleeve, fold it down of your kimono. Make sure you are working with the accurate length. Fold it tiny, neat, and perfect. You can decide to also make the folding bold and all. They are optional you can also decide to aim if you don't want to sew after folding of the kimono length and the sleeve sew the body together do you know the amazing part of this kimono it can be worn by any body size after the whole sewing process then you decide where you want a rough foot to start from i really want mine to come up a lot so i'll be working with 17 you can also work with 17 18 16 depends on what you want i already made my rope all i need to do is fix it i hope my videos are self-explanatory if you have any question let me know in the comment section and please do well to subscribe like and comment Money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 follow you they go. This year, good news, die plenty bonding. Go to follow, 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 follow you they go. Everything I've been wanting, money. This is a video of how it looks like. Ooh, looking like a 10 over 10 minus nothing. Please share, like, subscribe, peace, and love. Bye. Whenever I'm broken, it makes me feel whole. Whenever I'm lonely, you're there for my soul. Wherever you are, girl, that's where I call my own. Whenever you die, I'll be letting you know.